The word of the day is histrionic. Histrionic refers to a dramatic style of behavior often characterized by excessive emotions and attention seeking. It can also be used to describe someone who is overly dramatic or attention seeking in their behavior, especially in public or social situations. Welcome to another all new episode of Ultimate Public Freakout. So buckle up and get ready to witness some epic Karen behavior. But be warned, watching this video may leave you questioning humanity. Without further ado, let's dive right into the world of Karens. Touch me, touch me. Put your to hand touch you. on me. You've been trespassed already. already. I recognize Put your you. hand on me. You don't recognize Go. me. Go. Off the property right now. Record all you want, man. Get off. Don't touch me. Or what? Put your hands on me again, dude. Go. You gonna assault me again? Get off the You gonna assault right me now. again? Touch me. Touch me. No. Touch me. Get touch off the property. Me. Touch me. Touch Get me. off the property. Touch me. Touch me. I will touch you. Do it. How dare Get you? Off the property. I double dare you, fat boy. I double dare you. Do it. What do you touch me? Jealous I got a job? <laughs> Where's the kid that I can spell? Spell? Off the property right now. Record uh, all you want. Get out. I am. I am. This all. Um, What's your girlfriend? Her too. What did you say, sir? Why are you in a wheelchair when I saw you get out of your car and walk? Can you help me? This person walked out of their vehicle and assembled that wheelchair. I have nerve damage in one leg, sir. I can walk. Fair enough. California Street Mental Hospital, right down that way. That's where you're at. No, that's where you need to be. It appears that this driver has a significant issue with another driver who has a dash cam installed in his truck. It seems that this has been going on for 50,000 years, according to the driver. Get the goddamn camera off the truck! <laughs> Get the camera off the truck! 50,000 years of your goddamn Do you want to say that again on camera? No, do you want to say you want, you're, you'll take your badge off? I will take my badge off if, that's your, if you want a problem with me. It's not a big deal. I'm doing my job and you're intervening. That's obstruction. How am I intervening? He already walked away. You already walked away. That means that interaction was already over. And then I started talking. How is that intervening? You have a wonderful morning too. A customer ordered a pizza without tomatoes due to a severe allergy, but when the delivery arrived, she found that the pizza had tomatoes on it. Upset, she called the restaurant to complain, but the worker on the other end of the line hung up on her. Now the customer has gone to the restaurant in person to confront the worker for not offering her a refund or at least apologizing. <laughs> Sorry, bitch, get out. Will you call a bitch? Oh, 
Yes, I did. Don't call me a mother. You could at least said sorry. You could at least said, hey, you want your money back? You could at least said something. You can turn that off. No, because I I literally got How six minutes call, of recording. You, asshole. How about if I call the health department on you, you asshole? I literally got it all, so. Everything. You're lucky my old man's not here to call, hear me call me a... A customer arrived at this KFC before hours and was informed by the worker that the store was closed. However, the customer was not willing to accept this and demanded more information. The situation escalated when the customer refused to leave the premises despite the worker's repeated requests. The worker became agitated and frustrated with the customer and even expressed a desire to physically fight him while on the phone with the police. So I know that the title of this video is Ultimate Public Freakout. What was the second part? Ma'am, can I get a supervisor? I leave the parking lot. I leave the parking lot. What did I do though? Can you, can you tell me what? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How did I harass you? I act, see he, he's not answering. I asked, I ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Okay, I won't, I won't record you. But if he asked you to leave the parking lot and you did not, and you made some kind of threat, so I'm leaving. Look, look at him, look at him. Look he, you, you at work, you gotta I, relax. Yeah, shit, relax. Uh -uh. He got to hit, look, he got he about to fight. He about to fight. He about to fight. We not open. Go ahead. Why you still here? I'm trying to leave and he's screaming. You a crybaby, shut up. Bro, you a bitch, bro. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. You got the cops on the phone. Do something You got them on the phone. You got the cops on the phone. Do something there, bro. Look, he can't control his emotions. Do something. Look, baby, don't do that. Do something. I'm asking you to do something. You still ain't do shit. Walking around me, bro. What kind of dumb shit is you on, bro? Exactly. You look goofy as Come on, man. Come on, man. You stupid, bro. Come here, bro. You stupid, bro. Hey, hey. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Look at this dude. He my bitch. What you mean, dude? What you mean, dude? Baby. Hey, you should grow up. You're a grown man and you're acting stupid. So, you avoid people like that, you know? The following customer went shopping at Walmart and while still using their cart, he decided to roll it over to Starbucks next door. However, the customer was surprisingly denied service at the drive-thru due to the cart, which has left the customer upset. The customer has now approached the worker who denied him service and told him he can't even bring the cart inside the store. I can push this cart all the way down to the end of this parking lot. It belongs to Walmart. It's part of this compound. You're part of the compound as well. Now, it's Walmart's property. That's right. They said I can push it all the way down to the bus stop. Okay. Um, I should not be denied the ability to order some coffee from your store because they told me I can't push my cart to your drive up. No, it's, it's a no they told me answer. I couldn't push. I'm sorry, what? It's a no, it's not. Yeah, it, no, it's not. It, no, it's not. Anyways, car. I'm not going to argue. Listen, I should be allowed to push that car on this mat. It's not going to damage your precious tiles. You're, to this, you're, right here. Yeah. To buy my coffee that you sell to everybody else except somebody like me. That's hogwash. Hogwash. I'm sorry, it's just our policy. We can't have the Walmart. Where's the policy? Inside. I want to see it. We just can't have the shopping. Let me see the policy, the please. Can I please see the policy? Walmart's property. Can I please see the policy? Please. You, we can look 
it up for you. Okay, let's do that. Sure. Let's do that right now. I can get you started for your beverage. Yeah, while we're debating this issue. And it's not really a debate. I'm going to win. I want a double shot, white chocolate, hot. A mocha? That's a double shot, white chocolate, hot. hot. Is it a mocha? What's the difference between mocha and what? I want, I want, uh, white chocolate with extra cream and double shot. Do you want it steamed? How, how big? A how, lot of milk in there or do you want some uh, water? No, I want cream. Okay. And I want, yeah, uh, can do a for you. I want, uh, double shot, hot. Okay. And I want a I want a double shot espresso in there. Sizes, show me the sizes. Do you want a That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, small one. A small one, yeah. So we'll do a tall, hot, white mocha with a double shot in yeah. there for you. Anything else that we can get for you? Yeah, the policy. Sure. Sir, if I can help you here. It's going to be And I'm in a hurry, too. Okay. Um, Let's get going, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that going for you. We just, uh, you owe 616. How would you like to pay? Yeah. Go ahead and plug it in there if you've got the chip. How do they pay? How do they pay? I'm sorry? How do those people to the cars pay? A person with a car, how do they pay? Either with cash Do they push it through this? They push it through a machine. Yeah. It's stuck in the window, right? Okay. Yeah, same way. Fine. Unless they have the app on their phone or they're paying with cash. Okay. Let's see that policy, please. Would you like your receipt today? Yeah. You got it. What was your first name? John, without an H. Your music sucks. I'm really sorry to hear that you don't enjoy it. Yeah, f Just in case you're not still convinced, do you recall him mentioning that he was waiting for the bus to arrive? Here's a clip of him interacting with his bus driver in front of Starbucks slash Walmart. How you doing today, man? We're good, you? Yeah? You're doing great, man. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Jesus Christ, man. Are you getting on? No, yeah, I'm gonna pay in a minute. Well, go ahead. I need to get off. All right. Excuse me. Let me step behind you, man. Excuse me. God damn, man. Come on. Jesus curse, Christ, sir. man. You don't got a curse. I'm not cursing. Yes, you did. I heard. Oh, you. really? Exactly. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In this next three minutes, we witness a day in the life of a laundromat owner who is forced to ask multiple rude customers to leave his business. The exact nature of the customer's behavior is unclear, but it seems to have been severe enough to warrant a removal. All we know is that this owner has seen it all. I need you to leave the business, please. Mm -hmm. I, just came to the shop. I don't care. Leave the business. Leave the business. You have you are not welcome in here. Why did you call me down here to call? Leave the, the, the business. Company. You've already been paid. Leave the business. You gave me this. I need my money. For my leave phone. the business. She will not leave the business. It's on record. Look, look. iPhone for free. All right, what do you guys Please say? leave Karen. the laundry mat. I'm leaving. Okay. Anything right else? now, anything I've else? asked you numerous anything else times. Leave. Anything else? You're recording. I'm gonna record you after. In the hood, please, you're gonna see that. Please leave. Good. Okay. Please leave. How long have you been here? You hear him threatening what's me, what's officer? His name? What's Did you his hear name, me officer? threatening you, what's officer? What's his name? I have the right to know. Keep talking, buddy. Go, go ahead. I'm going to tell him how you ran like a little baby. That's what I thought. I'm not afraid of you either, dumbass. Go home. Go home. Get to your job, you dumb mother. I'll follow. I'll follow you home. I'll follow you home, dummy. Now, shall I turn around and defend myself for you because you follow? Go me? ahead. Go ahead. Wait for me. What are you following me for? 
It's an open street. It's an open yeah. street. So is that door It's an over open there street. Too. I don't no, care. I own the place. Get out of here. Good. There. Yeah. Okay. Got her face. I'll be reporting you. For what? I didn't threaten don't, you. Don't, don't come back to I my business. Don't come back to my business. A car salesman met up with his customers at their hotel parking lot. While parking his car, he unintentionally parked in a manner that obstructed the flow of traffic and upset the owner of the hotel. Now, according to the guy filming, the owner stormed out of his office and began yelling at the salesman, demanding that he move his car immediately. Here's how the salesman responded to his demands. Oh! You know what they call me? Tony Salami. Oh Tony Salami. We'll give you bologna. <laughs> don't touch. Don't touch. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just waiting for my deposit. Yeah. You got that plate that I can put on? Yeah, yeah, bro. Okay. Who's that Taliban upstairs? I don't care what you own, buddy. I own the city. Here, here, bro. Put the D plate. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I like you. We're not in India, buddy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Go back to your office. Go back to your office. You're talking to me. Let's go. Let's go. Go back to your office, buddy. You own the place or you own the garbage can. I can care less. I don't give a what you own. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Slow down. We're not in India. Slow down, man. Slow down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You kiss my ass on you and your fucking property, man. Where are you? I want to park how I want to park. I want to park how I want to park. I don't give a shit what's private. It's a hotel. It's not a private property. Buddy, I don't want to talk, okay? You fucking gonna get whacked if you keep it up, buddy. I don't want to talk. The following customer was waiting for his order when another customer waiting behind him confronted the worker for, I guess, being rude. The situation escalated quickly and the customer found himself in the middle of a food fight. You so mad! What you oh, are you sick? What? My car is my heel! My car! Okay, but I'm so happy. Are you serious? So you're not even recorded I'm that, so right? Happy. I just recorded that. I just recorded, ma'am. Hey, my car, though. But that's my car, though. Hey, you're not even recorded that, right? I just recorded that. 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 I just Okay, why are you walking over here? Don't touch me. You're the one who's you doing that. I got that on video. A couple explains that their flight was delayed and that they were informed that it would take hours for it to arrive. While waiting at the airport, they met some other passengers who had the delayed flight and they all decided to go to the bar. While there, one of the daughters of the couples was doing gymnastics and the woman recorded attempted to do a back bend, which led to some laughter and enjoyment. However, when the flight finally arrived, the couple was denied entry because the flight attendant claimed that they were too intoxicated to fly. You are shaking and I can see it. And because you guys are jeopardizing the safety of this aircraft right now. Okay. So I'm threatened by both of you. Well, that's unfortunate. That's Let's go. The I'm sheriff's I'm department is on Now you way. hear from my home. I told you. I didn't want this thing to get escalated, but you wanted to know. You need to get out of here. Huh? You do. Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. So you are reporting, right? It's not going to help you. They're reporting you. The reporting is not going to help. You are wasting the situation. No, reporting will help. Okay. You, got, you are you are wasting your What behavior did you see? You cannot step line. any closer to me. I'm not. I stepped to the side. What I'm behavior did you, you see? If you step in line? any closer to me, we're going to have problems. I'm not stepping closer. What behavior of mine did you see? What behavior did I see? Yeah. You are flipping all over the ground. You can't 
you, you're engaging, you're loud, you want attention from everybody. All, all of us, you're, the whole entire crew saw it. All of us are in agreement that you Putting cannot on the ground. Her. You mean the car wheels I was doing with the children that I met on the flight? As I was watching you drink your alcohol. Like I and, said, and I you, did have one glass of wine. Right. And so because you've admitted it, I'm not going to allow you to come on this aircraft today. So anybody that's had one glass cannot get onto this no, flight? No, anybody who's exhibiting behaviors like of being intoxicated is not allowed to come onto an aircraft. Do and I seem intoxicated to you right now? Yeah, you do. Because you aren't following any sort of instructions that any of us are asking you to do. Because I have kids at home that I'm waiting to get back to. Well, that's unfortunate. It is. It is. Because you should have been behaving yourself up in the, the, and you should have been behaving yourself here. You should have been listening to him. And oh, she's okay, recording no. me, and so I want that deleted. No, so, somebody will hey, I'm not gonna, she's, she's recording me, and that's also against FARs. That's FARs. also against the Define F FARs. Federal Aviation Regulation. Okay. Okay, so I want, I want law enforcement to deal with both of them, yes, and please. I want that to be deleted immediately. You can't make that demand for me. I, I can't. I, I am not intoxicated. Your inability to walk away is saying that you are. It's the exact opposite, but okay. this will You're not be the... A worker at the store took items from a customer's hand as they were leaving and demanded to see a receipt. The worker then walked to the back of the store to ask another worker who was using the bathroom if the customer had purchased the items. Unfortunately, the worker did not apologize and instead acted in a rude manner. Quick update. Um, first things first, thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Um, just got back from the valley a little while ago, saw all of the comments and everything. Hilarious. Guys, I do still have the medicine. I didn't, I would have returned it, guys. I think that would have been the right move too. But um, I am sick and it did help me get home, so yay. Um, once again, thank you guys. I called corporate like immediately after it all went down and I talked to a gal and she said that uh, they'd get a hold of regional. Regional would get a hold of me by the end of the day. It is now 520 here in Arizona. I've yet to hear from them, but I will keep you guys updated. A customer had called her local Walmart and was put on hold. When she finally spoke to a worker, she claimed that the worker had been rude to her and had abruptly hung up the phone. As a result, she has gone to the store to confront the worker in person. You yes, hung yes, up on yes, me earlier. I did, yeah, I didn't because I don't have to deal with rude. that. Just like I don't have to deal with this. No, I'm mad because you hung up on me earlier. You shouldn't have gotten loud. Exactly. You, you shouldn't have gotten no Please get, yeah. Yeah, let's get the manager over Get your here. manager here. Because yeah, you my manager's here not here enough, so we're going to get a me. manager That's here. That's fine. And I'm still not going to help you. Yes, you are. I bet I will. And mean. what's your name? D. D? Yes. Cool, because I can follow up with some play Because you were rude to Please him on the do. phone too earlier. Him? This gentleman. Him? Yeah. He wasn't on the phone with me. Ooh. Were you on the phone with me? Oh man, I said I called, I would put a hold for a while. Yeah. Were you? I was probably because I had a long line going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, when I the only one back here, I get really, really busy. So now, does she know you? Huh? Does she know no, you? No, but we were yeah, talking about okay. how horrible of a customer service person you are. No, I'm on my business. You're not. She's not your business if you don't know him. Okay, though. we had a conversation because you're standing here waiting okay. all day. You can go find a manager and complain there. Hi. Come on, manager. Thank you. So I was about to call earlier and find out about the and this lady right here was rude. I got put on the pole for 10 minutes and some of them were going to answer. And then she hung up. I didn't have to order. And the tires up here, I told you, was not a matter of fact. Yeah, I didn't have to order. Yes, you can sit in there, Mr. Johnson. Then we'll be sitting here both recording each other to see who says something that doesn't make sense first. That's great. You still have to leave property. That's great. I don't care. Well, keep saying you don't care. So that way, when I, talk I don't care to you, if you don't look at my I, eyes. That way, when this when this wraps up, that's you great. You can be another person that says you don't care. That's great. Because you're not the only one. All right. California Street Mental Hospital, right down that way. That's where you're at. No, that's where you need to be. Do you really tell clearly you got some problems? The mall, that that's where they need to be. Clearly, you over here so trying to cause a scene for nothing. A diagnosis about someone that's having a friendly conversation with you. Friendly? You came off all unfriendly. Excuse me. What did you call me? What I did I call you? you are. I introduced myself to you. I said, yeah. I'm Miss Size. No, I said, didn't say that. And you said you didn't care. 
And then I told you, I said, they know my yeah, name. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with you. And then I said, I said when I was inside of there, That's great. I went viral a few years ago. That's very good. And ever since then, people be, say my name. Cool. And, I, and you said, I don't care. Now you're saying, cool. I don't. That's important information. Good. Then I told you, they know my name in there. Great. And you keep being sarcastic. Great. Let's see if the world cares. Unnecessary drama. They ask you to leave. You want to make a big deal. Excuse me. Where was I at when, when I saw you? By exiting the door when I was right there. Excuse me. It's a simple question. Where exiting the door. At? Where was I Exiting you the door I while I was, I was there. Exiting, so you're willing to lie. Okay. Well, Did you not walk past me? <laughs> a woman stopped a man who was jogging with a bag of oatmeal at four in the morning and assumed he was up to no good. Z. Bitch, you better not. Get out of my neighborhood. What do you, you mean, your neighborhood? Store. You came from the grocery store? It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Get out of the neighborhood. I've got oatmeal. Why? Why? Then why are you running? I'm jogging. You're jogging? Yes. Okay. Post it. Bitch, you're crazy. Yeah, I am. S Ray! Why is giving? Hey, Pookie. Hey, Pookie. Mister! Hey! I know that's right! They got that new money! Hey! Hey, mister! Who's over that new new? I see you! I know that's right! Why? Check out MCA Hold on! Why am I so happy for a new trade? I don't know! Why y'all be safe? Woo! This landlord, who is also a neighbor to her tenants, has raised a concern about the number of people living in the rental unit. She believes that the tenants have exceeded the maximum number of occupants allowed by the lease agreement. In addition, the landlord reports that there has been constant noise disturbance from someone banging on a wall and running around the floors. Hello. Hello. Is Sandeep and Namu home? Sandeep. Sandeep is home? No. Is Namu home? No, he, he's uh, here, but he's not here right now. And what's your name? My? Yes. His mom, Jyotika. You're his mom? No. Um, somebody is running and pounding on the floors. Yes. Somebody is making a tremendous amount of noise on oh. the floors across the whole apartment. The other one? You Nancy? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. How are you? I'm not very happy. Oh, you're not happy? Honestly, no, I'm not very happy. Because we, there are, are not supposed to be any extra people here. Yeah, I know, but we, we only come over here for two or two and a half months and then going back because nobody there that's was not, there to care. That's not authorized. You're not supposed to oh, be okay, here. Okay, okay. So I'm sorry. You're because, not, you're uh, not uh, allowed to be here. Okay. And I want it quiet. Sandeep and Namu are not home, but there's running and banging across the floors. Maybe, maybe. Who's doing that? Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, so. She's really small, and this is a, a yeah. grown person making oh. a lot more noise than a little child. He's not here. I'll talk okay, to him when he out. gets home. I'll pick that up. Sorry. Sorry. Hey. Hi. Hi, Namu. How Hi. are you? Good. I have this paper for you. It's your um it's your notice to leave the premises and you can have uh Sandeep read it too. Mhm. Mm and I'll text it to both of you. Okay. okay. Also, okay? okay. Hi guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The next person noticed that their landlord is removing old wood from their building and they believe that the landlord should use a tarp to cover the materials being moved. The person intends to inform the landlord of their concerns and requests that they take appropriate measures to prevent any damage or debris from affecting the surrounding area. So landlord today has been removing a lot of things. Uh, 
<laughs> Looks to be old. Um, hey man, you're an experienced guy. Why is there no tarp up? It's none of your goddamn business. Really? That's why. Okay, you just said that all the phone. So call a cop. Call whoever you gotta call or get the f out of my goddamn way. I'm not in your way. Yeah, you are. Just you open in your mouth, breathe in my ear, you don't what. Awfully aggressive, man. Why would you admit to that? Well, legally speaking, you're supposed to put up a tarp so the light debris in the air doesn't, like, linger in the air and I don't breathe. Wow. Very aggressive. Yeah, I don't feel safe with you, so I'm not walking out the door to go hang up a pump. Okay. I don't but, know you. But you have somebody here who, who can send to there? I have nobody. You the one picked the pump. I already, so hang, it I already hang up. Go hang it up. I already, don't nobody got to pump your gas for you. I didn't okay. ride in no truck with you. Okay, I will report, okay? Yeah, go ahead, report. I because, can report you too. We got cameras. We I'm, like cost, too. I'm a customer. So what are you waiting for? I'm report a customer. Me. Report me. Okay, you're not doing right with me. I don't have I'm to. a customer. I don't have to hang up your pump. I didn't go pump your gas. I already, I already hang up. No, you didn't hang it up. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God! Look at this shit. I didn't. I just broke it in half. First, I did bid to it, but when I looked, it was too damn soft. What is we doing, Wendy's? Come on. Uh, oh, I'm taking this. Sh I don't think I'm not taking this um, to legal action, because I am. This was unsanitary, nasty. And, yeah, I just kept breaking it apart, because I'm trying to figure out if I'm just tripping. This is raw. Ugh. Next, we have a neighbor who confronts a couple of landscapers whom he suspects of intentionally blowing leaves under his car in an attempt to damage his catalytic converter. The neighbor's frustration arises from the belief that the landscaper's cleaning efforts are unnecessary since the street cleaners come every two weeks. He perceives their actions as a deliberate attempt to cause harm to his vehicle's catalytic converter. Why are you sweeping the road? All this right here, that's my car. I don't really know why you've cleaned spotlessly around it, but nowhere else. But um, they have street sweeping once every two weeks. I don't know why you just parked here. What? What's that? No, I'm just asking why are you doing this when there's street sweeping and specifically my car. And it looks like it's right where the catalytic converter would be. But I just don't know why it's swept so perfectly under my car and there's literally nothing else swept. Can you tell me? Huh? Yeah, and I don't know why you guys are sweeping the road right here. There's street sweeping once a week. What? This is cleaning the tree. The tree? Yeah. So the one with all the dead leaves still in it? The leaves, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the house. Yeah, there's street sweeping. It's weird that my car right here underneath it is completely clean. Like you guys literally made a, an effort to go under my car. Why, not, no, no, why no, nothing else? No, 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 dude, I mean, you clearly went under it. It's spotless right here in particular. And it looks like something was leaking. I don't know if that's just water or not. But again, why are you here sweeping when this, there's literally an industrial machine that comes once every two weeks. And you're saying my neighbor Mike there ordered it? Yeah. yeah? What's his last name? What's his last name? Mike. Yes. I don't know. The gentleman who hired you, what is his name? Mike. So what you're saying is you have no idea who hired you and you're just out here under my car. Dude, I mean, look at my, why are you under my car again? There's street sweeping. Huh? Catalytic converters get stolen all the time here. I see my car perfectly cleaned underneath. I don't know what you guys are doing. This next customer was denied the purchase of alcohol when he began searching for his ID and the worker deemed him too intoxicated because he was searching for his ID. Despite this, the customer proceeded to walk behind the register and attempted to ring up the purchase himself, while also questioning the worker's decision by asking, what are you going to do about it? In response, the worker blocked the door and called the police. I don't got no time for y'all. No, no, we got time for you now. We're trying to be no, I got, I got time for you. Yeah, I was trying to be Tell me what you gonna do. Yeah, cause um, uh, you you being obnoxious. No, you the one obnoxious. Think that you and then and then no, no. do what you want to do and don't suffer the consequences. Obnoxious and um. I'm gonna press criminal charges for that too. You 
disrespecting Well, I want to go home. I ain't even ask no questions. You don't want to have problems with me from the get go. You tried to video call somebody put on YouTube disrespectful. You violate my rights right now. Video card me in that camera. And I can't wait till the police come because your ass going to jail tonight. And I'm going to make sure you go to jail. Put that on YouTube. I can't even leave the store. <laughs> Not to the police. <laughs> you had a problem with me to get go. You gonna look crazy, and you holding up a look, 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 look. look. Somebody want to get in the store right now? I'm holding hostage. She won't even let me out. Thank you. Hey, this is what I gotta deal with, man. This is what I. I apologize, everybody, to looking at uh this this right here. But this this is obnoxious right here. This 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 is what you call caring. My mama coming home on the seventh. And Easter, okay. Easter, is, Easter Sunday is this week. I don't care about Easter. Well, I'm that's that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, cashier. I told you you was drunk. I hope you get fired. I, I hope you get fired. I hope you get fired. I, I don't care. I don't know. know. I don't know. Okay, you don't like me. Like you don't like me. It don't, it don't even matter. Don't worry about it. You ain't no related to me. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's you why you give respect to get I, Look, look. My ID and my my debit card is in my hand still. I want to go home, and she she holding me hostage. Look, this this is it right here. She she refusing me. Her. I can't even do do what I want to do to go home. Hello, ma'am. Oh, okay. Is somebody there's the police on the way to Young's Market? She's just causing. Yeah, she doing the most. Like, I don't even. I want some charges brought up against him because first of all, I ain't even did nothing to you. Time he's done this. This is she holding me. I had on camera. Yes, and I got him inside the store until y'all get here. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. But I'm just saying, cause I, okay. I'm whole hostage. What? I got, what? What I do to you? But I uh, mean, it's all Talk good. That's so here. crazy, man. Talk to the police. Here he come. I hope they let you go. I sure do. No, you, no, you don't. Yes, I Cause you're I evil. You know. You evil. You nothing but a devil. You the devil. I ain't even know why I even came to the sir. store. Uh, he came in the store. This is the second time you see. He's got this on this camera on right here. Just for for, for video purposes video only. Without our permissions, but anyway, he came in the store. He's he he's not a problem. He She's the problem. Alcohol. My my ID and stuff is right here. She don't need to be working here. I live here. I live I live right I live right down like right here. Yes sir. Yes sir. What? What are you talking about? No, that's a lie. It's on camera. And now I walk around the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Behind the cash register, like he was going to ring it up himself. I had to go back there and get him from behind the cash register. They're playing. And ask him to leave the store. He refused to leave. So then I lock him in and hold him right there and, and, and came over here and told my husband to call the police. This is the that? second time. It's on the camera. It's on the camera. Talk to now according to the guy that recorded the video he stated that the police officer released him without any charges after they had a conversation the following incident involves an individual confronting a customer at target for parking in the ev spaces however it appears that the woman is well prepared for the argument indicating that this was not the first time she had done this Hello. Hi. You mind if I ask why you parked in a charging okay. only space? Are you, are you the charging police? Do you have anything better to do than to cause drama with somebody? Think about it. Ask yourself. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is what worth it? Are you you're coming up to a random person you don't know? What are you gonna pull a gun on me? No. Okay, then I'm not worried not. about it. I want to talk to you. You just you have nothing better to do but to smoke cigarettes and confront people? 
I had to wait Does for 20 minutes. You? I had to wait for 20 minutes to get a spot to charge my car because you so were here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry because I see other spots available, so I highly doubt that. I have an electric car. This is Great. where you charge electric cars. Great. That's awesome. Congratulations. You're a Karen? Okay, Santa. Look at you. What? You're calling me a Karen? You're I do look like Santa. Me. I admit it. You're walking up to me. You have nothing better to do? Think about it. You it's know. Time. You know. And you would rather walk up to a woman by herself, run your trap, and now you want to stay here and call somebody a Karen. You know what? I need to charge. See, you that's what we needed her. to charge. You want to stay here and call somebody a Karen? Now you got two people on you. I don't give a I know you're you don't, welcome. and that's the whole thing. You don't give a f You're welcome. Yeah. And I'll do it again tomorrow, and I hope you're here. I know you will. Oh, absolutely. But at some point, it's not going to be good for you. Absolutely, <laughs> So, that's our Karen for you. <laughs> hope you had a good laugh. I know I did. <laughs> The next customer was meeting with his friend at a Dairy Queen. They both had backpacks and a small electric scooter. After the guy recording placed his order, his friend went to use the bathroom. That's when a security guard approached him and stated that the Dairy Queen wasn't a storage facility and that he needed to remove his scooter from the restaurant. Despite the restaurant not being busy and the scooter not taking up much space, the security guard who was wearing a full Call of Duty suit insisted on enforcing this rule. You're making threats to touch my belongings and talking to me like I'm a child when I'm a paying customer here. That's fine. But the thing is, make sure you show the camera your scooter. That's my scooter. That's my friend's one backpack. And he went to use the restroom, and that's my one backpack. Okay. And I spent $16.65 here. Exactly. But the thing is, this is a business. Not a storage area, man. And I've given them business. That does not belong in here. So at this point, I'm asking. How does it not belong? I'm not causing any trouble. I'm asking you, man, to please. You can't sit in here, man, and and do all this. Took a picture too while I'm recording. I'm I'm so glad my phone has a picture and video capacity. I mean, I'm being very respectful. I'm being very nice. I'm just telling you what the issue is, and I and we need to fix it. And so my it. friend's not allowed to order something and eat here, and we're no not allowed to that. sit. No, no one said that. Is this scooter and these bags and all of this stuff it does not belong in here? It cannot be in here, man. You could set it outside, but this is a business. I can't have my stuff yes, sitting yes, outside yes. where it's going to be okay, stolen. Man, so all we're doing is arguing. And we're not going to argue. I, I'm not going to sit here for five minutes arguing with you. I, t I told you what this is it, what it is, and please. What is the reason? Will be removed from the store. That's, 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 How will I be removed? Uh, either you're going to get up or I will make you leave. I, I don't like how you've threatened me like three times, including once on camera. I have paid and bought for food, and my friend's about to order too. He's allowed to order, just like I'm allowed okay, to order. So we're gonna stop right here, all right? We're gonna stop. No one said he's not allowed to order. No one said he's not allowed to eat. But that's his backpack. Okay, but all of this stuff. You can please put the scooter outside, or I'm going to put it outside. No, you're not. You can't touch okay, my belongings. So going to go what is your issue? I'm being respectful and kind with you, sir. You're not even a police officer. No. No. There is no need for this. This is uncalled for, and there's no reason for this. I don't understand what's the reason. Is there any particular reason why my scooter and my bag and my friend's bag are not allowed here? Why don't you come in here? Come in here and say it. In this next clip, a woman expresses frustration with the garbage workers who she believes have left trash behind. However, the woman also has a separate issue with a man who is standing on the public sidewalk in front of our home. She expresses her concerns and discomfort with the man's presence and tells him to move. This is after they left uh, trash. The garbage guy. Yeah, you left that trash behind. Bob. 
The trash that he left behind. What trash? That. We're not supposed to pick that stuff but up. But you dropped it down there. Oh, if it's not in the bag, we grab bags, sweetheart. Oh, okay. So you tra- you're saying that that's been there all the time? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Just you see how all these bags are lined up and they're in the bags. We grab bags. We're not responsible for picking up stuff. That's okay. not our job. That's why they have DPW. That's why they have street cleaning. Okay. We don't do that. Uh huh. We got the garbage though. You see the garbage is gone, right? The bag. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. Hey, resident, he's over there. This is a residence where you are. Is you go, you over here at this business? Are you visiting this business right here? Okay, well, this is a residence if you don't mind. Yes, we live here. Can you please, if you're up there visiting there, could you go over there to where you are? You over there visiting? That's what I'm asking oh, you. No, I, I live right, right, right Okay, right. so could you move on? But, I'm not doing this is public property. But it's public property, but you're in front of a residence. I mean, Lord, how would you like me to be in front of your house? With you? I'm not, no, I'm not making no problem. I'm just making a statement to you. Yeah, that's what I just asked you to do. I just asked you in a very professional way. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. That's hey, it's not that. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So it's the early hours of the morning, around 4 a.m., and a customer has come to this 24-hour store to return a product that he claims is faulty. After a 10 minute conversation behind the camera, the worker explains that the return cannot be processed. However, the customer refuses to accept this and becomes increasingly agitated and persists in demanding a return. Eventually, the worker decided to disengage from the conversation and ignores the customer's demands. In frustration, the customer begins knocking on the store's window to attract the worker's attention. He have seen me a few times. I already had a conversation with him um, for past 10 minutes. Now he's just avoiding any conversation for me. Everything I wanted to do, I wanted to get the refund from the product. I have bought it from them. Uh, they simply just ignoring me. They don't want to come over and speak to me at all. So I'm just trying to find them. He's literally just gone. You've seen me. Yeah, that's him. You can see him. You can see him down there. He's not willing to come at all. And that's kind of the customer service you're getting from... Who is this? Londis. Good morning. 24 hours. See? That's him. Can you repeat that, please, once again, that you cannot serve me? Sir, can you come back, please, and speak to me? The product I bought, that I wanted to refund. That's everything happens down there. He's just been there, run away, once again. Knocking once again, to see whether he's gonna come again, and see me. But you have seen how ignorant they are. And that's all about <laughs> one product for 17 pounds. Oh my god, look at him. He's down there. Okay, he just walked through. He's down there. Simply ignoring him. You can see. I'm quite loud. He's simply ignoring me. You can see him down there. See? That's it. Can you help me? Can I help you? Can I help you with my question? The one we just been discussing 10 minutes, sir? 
Sir, can you help me with a question, please? Excuse me? And that's what they are. Excuse me, sir. Will you help me today? Or you will be ignoring me? Because you don't want to do the refund. Sir? Sir? Will you be ignoring me? This video gonna fly to your management. You understand that? Sir? That's what they are. To wrap up this episode, here is a part two of the security guard at Dairy Queens. I'm not gonna lie, all this time that I've spent in the past month to find all these new clips for you guys has turned me into a bit of a Karen. And you know what Karens do? They demand things. So I'm not asking you to hit that thumbs up. No. I'm telling you that you better do it or else I'll have to call the YouTube cops and report that you are not liking my videos. And we'll see how you like that. I'm just kidding. Or am I? No, I'm kidding. But seriously, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and want to see more. Hey. No, there's a whole situation. They said your bag can't be there and he's calling the cops on us. He said my scooter can't be there, my backpack can't be there, and he's calling the cops on yeah, us. Man. So I don't understand why. I have it all on video too. Like this is insane. I just spent sixteen dollars and sixty-five cents here. Why is he doing that to us? Okay, man, now now you're being a disturbing subject. You were a disturbance to me, sir. There's a certain way to approach people, and you don't approach people like that. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm allowed to be here. You do not approach people like that. There's a certain way to approach people, and you don't approach people like that, with all due respect. Are you leaving? or? No, this is mine, but that's his bag. Yeah. It's like as soon as you put your bag down, he approached me hostilely. Yes, you did. The issue is we can't have this right here. This is too much. He can simply put it outside right there, but he doesn't want to. He wants to be a nuisance. And uh, how? And just not follow. You've been a nu what rules? It's not posted anywhere. So at that point, you're going to be trespassed. And cool. Yeah, you're not allowed here. I'm fine with that. I won't come back. Hey, you want to go catch the bus? No, I will wait for the police. This is America. I'm gonna go get my food. All right. Did you already order? No, but I'm hungry. You're gonna get her anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'll wait for the police. I'll get a trespass. Cool. I won't come here anymore. This is America. It's our God-given right to be in an establishment and pay money to spend. How am I creating a disturbance at all? There's a certain way to approach people. No, I'm allowed to be in here. The rules, what rules? It's not posted that I can't have my scooter or my backpack. I don't have a car. I have to ride the bus. I have to take my backpack with me. I have to carry my work equipment. I'm allowed to record freedom of press. I'm allowed to record freedom of speech. I'm allowed to say what I want. I'm not threatening anybody. You're the nuisance. You're the disturbance. You're the disturbance here. Why? Why? This is America. What the heck did I do? You're crazy, dude. Insane. All right, man. So uh, this is what's going to happen. Make sure you have your video record on for this. Uh, I simply ask you to please put your scooter outside right here. Please show that you can see your scooter very well. I've been very respectful, very nice with you. You're getting up yelling in the middle of the store. At that point, you're uh, it's a breach piece. And, um, you know, managers, business, we don't want you here for that, that, that reason. So, therefore, you're going to be issued a criminal trespass. 
and that's it, fine. A police officer needs to be here present with you fine. to do that. That's fine, man. And I want my sixteen sixty five no, back. You're not getting it back. Why? Dude. This is insane. You, you came out of me out of yeah. nowhere with that tone. Yeah, you don't you don't, you don't make the rules, man. Okay. You don't make the rules either. What rule yes, did I break? This property, why don't you on this property? If they what? tell me they want something, I do it. You need to abide by that and listen. You're arguing with me. You think that... I, don't know I think you're... what? Nothing. Nothing. I'm here charging my scooter. I have a backpack because yeah, I don't have a car. I keep my... This woman followed a guy teaching his son how to drive all the way to his destination to confront him about his driving. The woman even says that she saw the sticker that says student driver, but she still gave chase. I'd like to know why you're following me. I would like your business card, please. You're not getting my business card. Oh, but I have interest in being a student driver, so I would like your business card. Ma'am, go away. I'm going to have you locked up and follow me. Go ahead, because I'd like to call the cops, too. Call them. Okay, for what? For you following me? No, I'm not following you. Yes, you have. You followed us all the way down 17. That's my and, son, and you should mind your business and get in the car with your children. But you almost cost my children their life. Ma'am, go away. No. Get away from not. me. You're harassing you're me now. To me. I'm not harassing you're harassing you. me now. Yes. I understand. But if I'm coming into but your But stop home following me. I'm not going to tell you again, or I'm going to call the police. Well, call because I'm a retired police officer. That's great. And what you're that's doing right now is illegal. Now, you're actually, parked in the middle of the parking lot. Go away. Bye. Bye. These next two ladies are confused about how to use a gas pump. One just stands there and the other decides to take off. Oh my god, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Nicole! Nicole! You need to put back in! What do I do? It's not stopping! <laughs> I don't... You snatched the whole hose out. You snatched the whole hose out. You got to put the hose on. Oh, my God. No, I didn't because it wouldn't give me any gas or if I just took Oh, that's what was dragging. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't, it was, I mean, it wouldn't work. So I was going to another one. Well, I mean, you have to take the pump hose out to leave. I know. I know. Yes, ma'am, I need your insurance information. Huh? Your insurance information? Oh, come on. Really? Do you know how much this cost to replace? The thing is broken. It was not broken, ma'am. It's not broken. It's not broken. Oh, it's broken now, but it's not shit, broken. Okay. Wait, that ball, like two grand to have the people come out and fix it. Oh, For me to film what's going on at the restaurant? But I don't con consent you for the video, please. So I can't get her name? I'm sorry, I'm not able to disclose that. Okay, so we're at here at the the McDonald's on Ottawa so Street. This person is lying. And we're having he food, and we're having. And he is lying, okay? Yeah, yeah. Sir, see, look I'm at this. I'm gonna call the police if you're not gonna okay. stop the video. Okay. Sounds good.